right, let's look at this one. X is negative 5 and Y is negative 12. So now we're in the, um, the fourth quadrant. Oh, no, we're in the third quadrant. We've got X is negative 5, Y is negative 12. So somewhere down here. So negative 12, negative 5, and that's a nice Pythagorean triple. So the um, hypotenuse is going to be 13. All right, um, and just for a like quick check of what this uh, angle should be around here, it's in quadrant, um, it's in quadrant three. We know that this is 270 degrees, and if I did the thing come down at a 45 degree angle here, that would be uh, 225. So we know that this angle is going to be somewhere in between those two. So let's see. Well, uh, we, we already came up with R. R is 13. And so tan theta is um, 12 over 5. So the reference angle that I'll get by doing uh, inverse tan of 12 over 5. So inverse tan of that gives me 67.3. Now 67.3 is in quadrant one. And that's not drawn very well, but to get over here, we have to add 180 to it. So 67.3, add 180, gives me 247.38. And I should be putting little degree symbols on all these since those are degrees. So my, uh, let's see, is that in the correct place? Yeah, that's between 225 and 270. So let's see. Um, my point then is going to have polar coordinates 13, 247.38 degrees or 13. And let's see that 247 to convert to radians, multiply by pi, divide by 180, gives me 4.318 radians. So those are the two ways we could write that answer. Um, it's interesting, a lot of calculators have uh, built-in functions for converting between polar and rectangular. Even this little uh, this little tiny Casio that I've got has a, um, if you look on it down here, it's got, this is difficult to do backward, but on the plus and minus it has, um, it's not focusing very well, but on the plus and minuses it has R to P and P to R. So there's some way you can make this calculator do uh, polar to rectangular. And I know the fancier calculators do that too. Honestly, I think it's more trouble to do that than it is just to work it out. But anyway, that functionality is there if you want to explore it. Uh, let's see, these uh, next two examples are converting from polar to rectangular. So these are actually pretty straightforward. To do these, what you want to do is just use um, these two things here. Uh, y equals r sine theta, x equals r cosine theta. And there's really nothing else to it. Um, for this, x is going to be 4 cosine 3 pi over 4. Let's see. Cosine of 3 pi over 4, I'm just going to cheat and use my calculator. Um, cosine 3 pi over 4. I mean, I know it's going to be root 2 over 2. It's either going to be positive or negative. And now that I take a moment to even think about it, cosine is going to be negative in this quadrant. So it's going to be 4 times negative root 2 over 2. So that's a negative 2 root 2. And y is 4 sine 3 pi over 4. So that's 4 times, let's see, 
Uh, again, we're in the second quadrant for 3 pi over 4. Sine's positive there. So positive root 2 over 2. So we get that for our x and y. I guess I should write it as a point since it's asking us for coordinates. So that's the Cartesian coordinates of, um, of that point. All right, uh, this next one, convert 3, 5 to rectangular. Now, these are polar coordinates. And the only reason I know that is because of the context. If, uh, if I just gave you this as a problem, I would probably have to tell you these are polar coordinates, convert them to um, rectangular. Um, let's see, 3, 5. I mean, I I as far as finding the coordinates, all we do is we do um, x equals um, 3 cosine 5 and y equals 3 sine 5. And remember, that's 5 radians. There's no degree symbol on them. So I'm just going to stick that in my calculator. Actually, before we do that, which quadrant is this going to be in? The angle is 5, 5 radians. So let's see, this is uh, 0, this is pi over 2, which is like 1.57. This is pi, which we know is 3.14. 3 pi over 2 is down here, and 3 pi over 2 is 4.71, I think. So this is going to be somewhere in quadrant 4. So let's see, 3 cosine 5. I'm just sticking out my calculator, and it's giving me an ugly number. 0 0.8509. So I'm going to call that 1. And then 3 sine 5. My calculator is telling me that's negative 2.877. Okay, wait a second. 3 cosine 5. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. So these are my coordinates. We get the point 0.851, negative 2.877. And that makes good sense. That's, in, uh, that's definitely in quadrant uh, 4. Because we go forward 0.851 and then down some amount. So that's uh, that's really all there is to converting uh, polar to rectangular. Um, polar to rectangular is the easier of the two because it's just plugging into those formulas. All right, um, that'll do it for this video. Next up, we're going to talk about converting between uh, equa equations between uh, Cartesian and polar.